Welcome to the Artist Academy podcast. I'm your host, Andrea Earhart, and we are starting a brand new series called Quit Your Day Job, where we are highlighting members of the Artist Academy who have recently transitioned from quitting their nine to five and are now into full-time creativity. They are living the dream. Today we are highlighting Brianna D'Amato, a New York-based artist who joined the Academy back in April of 2019. Brianna has been to both mural meetups, so this year the one in Missouri, and then last year we had a meetup in Iowa. So I've had the chance to get to know her pretty well through both of those. (laughs) We worked a lot, we've had a lot of fun, and we have a few inside jokes, (laughs) and I just can't help but laugh a little to myself thinking of our time together. You know how some people just kind of get your humor? Well, Brianna is one of those. Um, On a professional level though, I've gotten to watch her grow on social media through the past couple years to the point of now being full-time and just going through so many things with TikTok and Instagram and selling original paintings here and there and I'm just so proud of her. (laughs) It's so fun to me to watch and encourage these artists through the beginner years And Brianna is one of those for all of us to watch in the future. She has so much potential, and I know that this is just the start for what she's going to do. You're about to hear how she's gotten this far so far. So let me know what you think of this week's episode with Brianna D'Amato. So you could just introduce yourself a little bit, tell us a little bit about you and how you got into the arts and where you're at right now. And let's just, we'll do a deep dive on you quitting your day job and doing art full time. Sure. Okay, so my name is Brianna D'Amato. I'm 28 years old. I live in New York. I went to school for fine arts. I graduated at, from Stony Brook University. So I took a lot of oil painting classes while I was there. So that's why I'm stuck to that medium mostly. I try acrylics now and then, but I'm just used to blending oils. Like I need to try other things, but I'm just stuck on that. <laughs> <laughs> no that, that's a good thing to be stuck on yeah. because I think that's where like the more professional canvas painters use mm-hmm. they're like big into oils I just right. I don't know I like a lot of muralists don't even like the latex roll-on stuff but I do right. I don't know. so whatever you like to do keep doing that sure. let's talk about how the jobs have been coming to you here lately and really in terms of okay. numbers as well too because a lot of people mm-hmm. when they're quitting their day job they're like how many jobs should I have lined up? What should my situation look like? And so let's talk about yours. Like how busy were you last year compared to this year? How much did you work your other job last year and then compared to this year? Okay. So I work with my dad in construction and he just basically was like, whenever you're not busy, pick up shifts with me. And that's how I was transitioning into full-time artist because he was just just giving me extra work because I'm like, I don't know if this is always going to be consistent. So it was really nice to have that to like fall back on. And before that, I used to be a server and that was very tiring at the time for what I was doing. So I would never really want to paint at the end of the day after serving or like at nighttime, I'd just be tired and had no motivation for it. (laughs) Working with my dad was like a great opportunity to just wean into it. But for a lot of my jobs that I've, gotten lately it's through an app called thumbtack which you guys introduced me to last year and uh, i was like iffy about it but then i was like why not i'll just try it out and so it's been getting me a lot of mural jobs so it's been great (laughs) oh that's awesome anybody that's listening Mm thumbtack.com and you get on and do you want to explain it about what kind of what it is so basically the the app gives you weeds on certain jobs and it'll have like other artists will be like in comp not like competition with you but the client will be asking like they'll reach out to four different artists so you don't always necessarily get the job so you just have to quickly reach back out to them and tell them you would like to do the mural for them just like a platform where people Mm -hmm. can search for like craftsmen to muralists and whatnot. And so Yeah. So just for muralists, it's for any type of job. Yeah. And a lot of people get discouraged because they're like, well, you have to pay for leads and all this stuff. But Mm -hmm. have you found that it's worth it? It's so worth it because you make it back. And if you get one job, you make all of that money back and more. So it's definitely worth it. 
So true. And there, I, I definitely agree. I just wanted to make sure. But because I think a lot of the times we can do so much for free, like doing the posting on social media completely for mm-hmm. free. But if that right. isn't working for someone and if somebody's like, I'm showing up on social media and not getting anything for it, maybe try to you know pay for something like Thumbtack or there's some other right. apps. I think Taryn said she, she was using something called Home. Next or- door app. Net next, next door. door app. Yeah, that, that's what it was. I, I just that downloaded app. that, and I'm, oh. I have to, I have to finish filling it out, but I just haven't <laughs> had a chance to do that. Okay. Yeah. But. So the Thumbtack and Next Door app. So those mm-hmm. are just for anybody listening. That's like re- resources that you can do to more put yourself in a searchable. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like Google for like craftsmen putting yeah. yourself out there. Awesome. So how much did you? How busy were you with art last year? Last year, so I did the 31 day challenge in January and that was like, that's always a really good start. So I recommend that to everyone. I sold like half of those paintings throughout the year. In the first month I sold like most of them. And then throughout the year, you'll see like people will reach out and be like, oh, do you still have this painting? So it's like a nice income because a lot of those paintings you do really quick and then it's just like, nice extra money for it so it's a good way to get started but wait what was the question you're good, you're good. <laughs> um, you started off in January doing mm-hmm. 31 day challenge and how much time did you spend painting last year and versus versus working at your other job and how did okay. that transition so last year it was 50 50 so half of the week I'd be painting at home just working on my own things or maybe I'd get like a few commissions here and there but it wasn't really consistent but this year I've been having like every week like somebody new will reach out to me so it's been like really nice <laughs> yeah. oh that's so. awesome so you basically went from working part-time for mm-hmm. about a year and then when did you I guess go full-time when did that happen so unknowingly like <laughs> the new year like January right when we started the 31 day challenge I just got busy I think like with posting every day more people see your work so then that makes more people reach out to you also so it's really helpful with that and then after that because I had downloaded Thumbtack I held off on it because I went to the mural meetup last year but I wasn't so confident in myself and then I just I just have to do it and then I was lucky I had this job it was for a 55 and older community and they were just so nice and I was like okay it's not bad so it just it gives you that extra boost of confidence and everything. So I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can be a muralist. So I've only done five more now, but it's, it's like great. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Ryan, when everybody left this one time, we were like, mm-hmm. if anybody like has like the angst or the angst or whatever that word is, <laughs> the get up and go to come to a mural meetup, they're going to be fine. And so like yeah. you, you, you guys coming the first year, I was like, you guys are going to be fine. You'll figure mm-hmm. it out. Because if you're going right. to fly or drive across the United States to by yourself <laughs> to learn with a bunch of artists, like you're going to be just fine. You're going to yeah. work out. And, then, and and you did. And that's what you've been doing. So true. You've just been f- figuring it out. That's great. So I've just been lucky with like consistency. <laughs> we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> about um, so art challenges did you do so yes. have you done two two Januarys in a row so far with the art yep okay two in a row so that's really helpful I'd say anyone should do that so like doing the challenges has helped with consistency let's think back on like the first time you did it and then the second time what are the differences there um, I think this time I prepared myself a little bit better so like prepping canvases beforehand so you're not so stressed out with everything like last year, I I had to do three in one day. I did that this year too, but it was like <laughs> a, lot, a lot easier. So. The challenges, I think they really help, especially that one. And then we have a series six challenge coming up. And mm-hmm. but even that one, I'm like, oh gosh, it's going to be tight to get all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Like maybe I'll work a little smaller. We'll figure it yeah. out. Yeah. So let's just talk about maybe some of the fears that you had going from part-time to full-time or hobbyist to full-time or anything in there like it's a very stressful time you question your abilities you question if it's possible you question like all of that what are what's something that maybe was going through your head because I think other people hearing this they're going through exactly what you went through right now and just hearing Mm -hmm. maybe something specifically that you went through they're like oh 
So it's, it might be normal to go to have these feelings. Right. So I guess my main fear is just, will the work always be consistent? Will people continue to ask me for paintings and murals? So it's still like a fear of mine, but I have been lucky to not have to face that fear yet. And just, I guess also just being in charge of everything on your own, it's a lot to handle. And I wish I had taken some business classes beforehand, but the Artist Academy has been so helpful with everything. Like all the questions like, oh, should I have an LLC or all those things. (laughs) It is a lot of responsibility and the whole like consistency or will work constantly be coming in. I think really, even for me, I've always had that same fear too, like in the last, in the back of my head. And I had told myself there's not enough work in Springfield to keep me busy because it's like Mm -hmm. a smaller town. And I was like, there's no way. Um, But it wasn't until this past year, maybe that I was like, okay, I can let my guard down on that. Yeah. <laughs> like I, it's, it's okay. <laughs> but right. up until then, I was still, like, cause, like in, in winter, it's typically a little slower. But this past winter, I was the only one that was like, okay, maybe I don't have to stress out anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just know it is totally normal. And I think it's just like you said, being on Thumbtack and going after those jobs and posting on social media. And, and then you just hit this tipping point of mm-hmm. you have so many referrals from customers that you've already had that kind of fills in the void. So if you just mm-hmm. keep, keep posting and keep like looking at Thumbtack and all that, plus the referrals, I think that just yeah. like stacks together and then it just poof, magic goes away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. So, true. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you, so I, I love to highlight the timeline for people. So cause mm-hmm. a lot of people would be like, oh, like they've listened to a, a couple podcast episodes or they just joined the group and they just started taking their art seriously. And right. they're like, I want it to happen now. And they get a little disheartened when maybe six months down the road, it hasn't happened yet. And they're like, okay, is something wrong. Well, like how long did it take you? Like from when you were like, I'm going to try this out to this past January. So I think I started taking it seriously in 2018 when I just had made my art Instagram page because I knew I wanted to do this full time, but I just didn't know how. So once I joined the Artist Academy, I think that really helped push me. I was like, wow, like so many artists are moving forward with this. Like it is possible. And you just have to really push yourself and do everything on your own. Like, You can't just wait for something to come to you all the time. Like you have to do it on your own. So you'd say about three years or two, two and a half years, something like that. Three for me. Three. Three. And I think that's a typical time. Mm -hmm. I think it's, I think, and, but I think what also happens though, and why I wanted to do this series is just to highlight that because when people go a year really hoping and really wanting. And then after that year, they're like, maybe I should reassess and do something else. And I'm like, no, that's like, (laughs) you're the magic is going to happen. Like for some people it's fast, for some people it's slower. And some people it takes a while because it's almost like you have to get those little bits of luck in there too, along with the hard work. And it's just whenever they're about to hit. Is there anything that you've done like besides the thumbtack, besides the social media that you think that has helped you in that process? I have signed up for a few art shows. So I think that's been helpful, like just getting getting out there, like people just seeing your work and everything, handing out your business cards. I think my problem was like, I don't go to businesses a lot. Like I know with the window paintings, I went to one place and I was like, I don't know if I could do this anymore. (laughs) So like this, that's like another goal for this year. Like I have to like actually make the effort, do that so I could, I know I'll have those jobs to do in the winter. And I remember we talked a little bit about, oh, first off, Rayanne and Taryn are commenting, our Alaska girls. <laughs> oh, I miss you. <laughs> I know, hello. <laughs> and then Rayanne mentioned uh, that's her biggest fear too, is the lack of work in her town. Mm-hmm. So just yeah. that is totally normal. But we had, sorry, what? I was going to say, even just like competition. I'm in New York and there's a lot of artists here. So it's, it can be discouraging a lot too, like seeing so much other work out there. And I'm like, oh, well, there's already all these muralists. Like, why, why are they going to ask me to do it? So you just have to know that you are more than capable of doing it. So I think that's helpful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I think there's a project out there for everyone too, in mm-hmm. whatever stage they're at even. And a, what, the main thing that I tell a lot of people 
like here locally is that it's like in the beginning, you're going to get the, the, the smaller jobs that are maybe like 200, 300, and then you get going and you'll get the 400, 500, and you'll get the 1,000. So mm -hmm. I tell in the beginning, you're going to get those like smaller jobs that are going to lead to bigger jobs. And I don't want those smaller jobs. So it's, yeah. even though they're looking at other people or you're looking at other people and saying, oh my God, they're so great. It'd be like, but there, you might not be going for the same thing. I just interviewed an artist in Keith Goodman. He's in Florida and he okay. doesn't even, he doesn't even take $10,000 jobs. He's like, oh, oh yeah, he does like <laughs> two jobs a year that are like giant. And wow. those, those are the ones that he's taking. So I know. So like, oh just like there, there's a level for everyone. And mm -hmm. so I always try to explain that because people see people like Keith and he, if you want to look him up, anybody wants to look him up on Instagram, yeah. his pod podcast episodes coming out. He's ultra realistic, just amazing. Oh, and my God. You look at it and you're like, maybe I won't paint today. <laughs> maybe. Right? <laughs> like, maybe this isn't for me, actually. <laughs> yes, exactly. But he's just at a different level and he's attracting a different client than us, too. Mm -hmm. And right. we're attracting our friends, too, sometimes doing nurseries or doing stuff like that or right. whatnot. Um, so true. So we had talked a bit about how like it's hard to be consistent and it's really easy to be lazy sometimes. What yeah. are some of the things that maybe have you found that the times where you were slacking a bit, work wasn't coming in or how did you get over stuff like that? That's a tough one. How do you get over slacking? I think you really just have to look at other artists and just see like how much work they're putting into it. And just have that be your motivation. Like, I was just thinking, like, before this interview, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, you just need to surround yourself with people who are doing better than you because that pushes you to do better, too. I feel like even just going to the mural meetup, that's something that would motivate, like, a bunch of us to get us, get our brains going and ideas flowing. I think it's just like nice to be surrounded by like-minded people. And that's like a good way to motivate yourself to keep going. I don't know if I just went in a circle. But <laughs> no, that's totally okay. perfect. I think that's totally great. And because there's just something magical that happens too. And even being in person with everybody, I was like overwhelmed, but at the same time, like just so motivated and right. even like while we were there I was already like okay maybe we can have the next one here and maybe we can reach out I was like already talking about do it, having it again because mm -hmm. it's just there is just some kind of magicness and not even like instruction for me just like getting to talk to other people there and be like oh I do a leaf this way even right. Whitney, showing people how to do a flower like just yeah, oh my god that. how did you do that <laughs> Like, do it again my slower. flowers are still terrible but it's fine <laughs> <laughs> at least you can I'll paint practice. a boat like the boat yeah. behind you. <laughs> like, there you go. <laughs> you're like anybody want a boat <laughs> but i can't paint a simple flower i don't know <laughs> we'll get there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. one step at a time <laughs> that's awesome okay let's see um we basically gone over most of the question is there I'm trying to think of anything we wanted to add like in the in the end okay one thing so I'm currently yeah. putting together a book about getting started in the mural industry mm -hmm. and helping artists to go full-time and right. might mention a few of you guys in there and all the stuff so is there anything that you've either learned in the academy or on a podcast from someone else or mm -hmm. any bit of information that you've gotten that I have to include in this book that would help people just go full time or something that just clicked for you or I would say just like remembering that everyone's at a different pace in life you can't just because somebody's older than you or younger than you and they're further ahead doesn't mean that you'll never get there and I think you're just like the perfect example of somebody who just put in the work and I think if everyone followed your lead to just <laughs> Like, just go out there and be like a go-getter. I think that's like the perfect way to go about it. You have to be the one to get yourself there where you want to be. So yeah, nobody else I'm, can do it for you. I'm not paying her to say this, guys. If you're <laughs> <laughs> Join the Artist Academy, guys. <laughs> But seriously for, for this small fee per month you get like no yeah <laughs> but seriously like I'd be a, I'd probably go back to being a server if it wasn't for this group because oh I'd my just gosh. Be, yeah like I it's so discouraging a lot of the time but like when you see other people 
doing it, you're like, wow, like it's possible. So I think it's a great group to join. So Aww, yeah. <laughs> like even like when we had the mural meetup and all the stuff, I was like, holy mm-hmm. shit, if I wouldn't have started this group, I wouldn't have met some of you guys. I was like, yeah. holy, I would have just held myself back because I had the, the idea for a long time, but I would have missed out on so much of meeting all of you if I hadn't have just tried it. And I yeah. also say it's the same thing for your art business and everybody's art business. If you're holding yourself back, you don't even know what the possibilities are and who you can yeah. meet and the customers, even some of the customers that I met, they're just so great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's just so much. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. I will see you again. Whether yes. Hopefully year, soon. I know. It's like, whether it's a year from now or much sooner, hopefully sooner, hopefully, hopefully we go sooner. to Alaska and Florida Alaska. And, all, and Italy and yeah. all the things. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'll see and Rayanne and, and Taryn and everybody commenting. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome oh okay. I miss everyone <laughs> I know awesome till next time thank you so much for coming on I'm sure All that right. this Thanks interview is yeah I'm yeah. sure that interview is so inspiring to so many people and I even okay. you coming on and fa- facing a fear of going live even and just like yeah, doing yeah. It, it like I that. have to do that more <laughs> it, it definitely has like a, a butterfly effect and it will get other people awesome All right. <laughs> enjoy the rest of your day <laughs> <laughs> yeah have a great All rest right. of your Monday <laughs> you too I hope you have enjoyed this episode of the Artist Academy podcast, and I hope it has inspired you to take action towards going full-time in your own art business. And if you need a little extra help, then check out the mural training over at artistacademy.co. That's artistacademy.co, and you'll get all the help you need to start building the mural career of your dreams. If you've liked this episode or any past episodes, can you pretty please go leave a review? It really helps. And if you screenshot that review and send it to me via Instagram DM or email or however, I will say thank you. And I will shout you out on my Instagram of over 70k viewers. Help me help you. Thanks so much. I will see you next week.